Brew Crew Territory. Scotty Braun and AJ Krasinski with you this week. We're going to hear from Brewer starter Freddie Peralta coming up and also Eric Kratz with an ode to Craig Council. But before that, news-wise, first off, AJ, the Brewers look good right now. They took three of four against the Padres in San Diego. They're winning in a variety of ways. Their offense at the bottom looks like it's going to be better than expected. Some of the young guys stepping up. So this team could make some noise in the Central and be a playoff contender. And Yelich looks back, too. Yeah. Christian Yelich is swinging the bat well early. Uh, Rowdy Telez has been off to a nice start, but the three rookies, Mitchell, uh, Weimer. Terang. Terang and Weimer, Weimer. Yep. are off to a nice start. And they won three out of four in San Diego, and Corbin Burns didn't pitch in San Diego, which is a nice touch. So their bullpen has been solid. Like, Devin Williams has been great. He almost got pitch clocked the other day, though, <laughs> in a full count in a one nothing game, which would have been horrible. But – He's been great at the back end. The rest of their guys have been really good. And they look like a team that definitely, if not compete for the NL Central, can possibly win it. Yep, true. And also, Corbin Burns did pitch against the Diamondbacks, and he shoved. He was lights out. I think he allowed three base runners, eight innings for him. The one problem on the other end is that Brandon Woodruff's hurt. He's got a shoulder strain, so no surgery. But it sounds like he'll miss pretty significant time for this ball club, where he'll be back this season. And should be back in the first half. But if you're a team that you would think is ranked second place coming into the season, you want to take all the dubs you can get to sustain a lead against a team like the Cardinals. So you figure he's going to play better baseball. Absolutely. But Woodruff, losing Woodruff is a big blow. This team has depth in starting pitching. They already lost Ashby, right? So now you lose Woodruff. They still have Lauer. They still have Freddie. They still have Corbin Burns. Who's going to be the fourth and fifth guy, really? On a stability note, but losing Brandon Woodruff, Freddie Peralta said on our show he's his favorite his favorite uh, pitcher, the best pitcher on the team. So yeah, how big of a blow we don't know. It depends on how long he's out, but they need Brandon Woodruff back and they need ben- Brandon Woodruff healthy. And if he can't, that's more pressure on Peralta. That's more pressure on Burns. More pressure on Lauer. So they have. They have a big question mark there, but I think he's going to be back. And when he comes back, we all know what he can do. And they've got their man leading the helm, always cool and calm, and now has managed more games than any Brewers skipper ever. That's Craig Council, even though he looks how old? He looks like he's like 27 years old. Yeah, he's always 27 years (laughs) old. Eric Kratz spoke about his former skipper and the big accomplishment for him. First, congrats, Craig, and your your incredible calves. Um, He's definitely (laughs) got the best calves in the game. Without a doubt. And you said he's 52. If you said he was 38, people would be like, yeah, I see it. The guy is, he's the Highlander. He doesn't age. But as far as like in-game management, bar none, he's incredible. And he does a great job of, he's a great listener. As much as he is funny and he has like his like, he has his things that he'll say. And you're like, wait a minute, that was that was a zinger. Did he just say a zinger? And then he's out of the room already. Like it's, he has some funny things, but he is so locked in. You watch a game. He's very locked in. He's a great, great listener too. He listens to Pat Murphy. He listens to hookie. He listens to his analytic department. And ultimately he's the one that makes the decision and he owns up to it. His, he, he just is very, He's very aware of what's going on in the game, very intelligent for not being like a catcher slash, you know, the, the, the prototypical manager. But what he does really well is he gets the most out of his guys. And I, I didn't, I don't know what his reaction was to trading Hader. I don't know what his reaction was when they had to release low cane, but I know what he puts into his relationships with his players. So I know it hurt him. And I know the next day he went on to whoever else they called up in each of those guys' places. Like he is a very, very good people manager, very good game manager. And if he wants to be able to ride his bike to any other big league stadium that he manages in, he's going to have to keep managing under the Brewers, and I hope the Brewers extend him because he should be there. But I don't know if he'll manage anywhere else. He loves being home. He is Wisconsin born and raised. He was a bat boy there. He is a pl- was a player there, and now he's the manager there. He is the he is the cheesehead. His dad worked for the ball club, and very well said. And I'll say this because it was a, a theme of the day. He's a star, star manager. 
<laughs> he's a star. Just okay. saying. He's a star. Hundred percent. I, I yep. say he's one of the. I say he's one of the top five in the game. Easy. Easy. Agreed. If not because of what he has and where they get to. Mm-hmm. And, and he's got dirt in his spikes. He's been doing it for a long time already. He has, but they haven't won the World Series, which I can't say top three if he hasn't won the World Series. I okay. think game managing wise, I think he is he is a top three, but I don't because they haven't won the World Series yet. Cheers to Craig Council because longevity as a manager, especially in today's world. Yes, there you go. Not easy. How many skippers last in the big leagues with the same team for a while? Not many. He's I, perfect there though. He from is. Milwaukee. From Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. Grew up a Brewers fan. Dad worked for the team. Dad worked for the team. He was a bat boy, I believe, also. or he, he Craig was? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Or, so the perfect fit for a perfect organization and a fan base, and he does a really nice job. And I've gotten to talk to him, and I'm sure you've gotten yes, to talk to him doing Brewer games. He's great. Mm-hmm. He gives you the information you need. He's funny. He's engaging. And that's what you look for in a manager. He's able to communicate with his players. The players love him. I don't know if I've met a player yet. And – He's got the pedigree to be there for a long time, and I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. And if you watch games, his in-game skills, I point this out about him because some managers, eh, his in-game skills are strong. Yes. Rare do you watch a game and go, bad choice there by Craig. You can tell that he's been watching the game like that for years. Even when he was a player, he often was on the bench. He'll tell you. There were times when he was often on the bench or a super utility, and he'd be sitting there watching the game, wondering when he's going to come in and making decisions and talking to coaches. So. Good for Craig. Congrats to him on the accomplishment. And let's get to our guy, Freddie Peralta, this week's guest on Brew Crew Territory. Freddie, great to see you. First off, how's the start to the season on both sides? Give me how you're feeling on the mound because you've looked great. And the Brewers not only look like a strong ball club that's a playoff contender, but you guys are hitting the baseball this year. Hello, hello, guys. Eric. Give me a so, flower. <laughs> <laughs> so, like you say, man. So, yeah, we we've been great so far. Uh, our offense and and defense has been doing great job. We are playing really good baseball, and it's it make it make me feel like great because it's what we look all the time for. We look forward to see these kind of games. Like enjoy every moment. Uh, on the field and in the clubhouse is really important too, and that's what we've been doing. And so hopefully to, that we keep doing that uh, until the end. What do you? Do you have a free breakfast in San Diego? <laughs> what are you in the Brewers have like a free breakfast room you're in? Look, look yeah. How you know that, man? Because I can see the coffee yeah. pots behind you. Unless you got a room with three <laughs> coffee pots in it, you're yeah, at the free yeah. breakfast. So, no, no. Yeah, I just I just have my breakfast and. and there's an, nobody nobody else here because it's supposed to be in uh, noon. But, yeah, we, the Bruins good, do a good job with that. So when we are on the road, we have breakfast uh, at the hotels. And, you know, it's awesome. It's, it's another another little team for us, like, to to communicate with the other guys, to have some time, like, during the breakfast and, and, and talk about about whatever you need to talk and, and just part to be connected as a team. Especially since they don't give you meal money anymore. You, they got to give you free breakfast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't get those cash envelopes on the flight anymore. No, no, no more cash. No more cash. <laughs> yeah, they give, yeah, they give those, those rooms. They put those rooms down the bottom of the hotels. It is tremendous. That's, that's the yeah, best. You don't have to go out anywhere. Awesome. You pick up some granola. Do you get Everything. some granola? Yeah, granola, omelette, whatever you want, man. It's, everything's here. <laughs> every day, every day. Hey, felicidad para nuevo baby. Congrats oh, on your new baby. All right. Thank you, Let's thank go. you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Hey, como está Maritza y Frey Jr. y Nora? Ama, yeah. ama, su, ama su amarito. Dude, congratulations to your to your wife and everything. How are they doing? How's Maritza, Freddie Jr., Nora, your daughter? And yep. does she love her little brother? <laughs> Everything is going great so far. Uh, eating, he, he's eating and, and sleeping a lot. And Nora is is in another level, crazy. Uh, I I I wasn't expecting this, and she's jealous. She's trying to to get the attention all the time. Uh, 
Well, man, it's doing a lot of things, doing crazy things. When I was there before coming here to San Diego, it was like, my God, what's going on? We know that she was going the stairs like all the way down, like, like head down like this. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing? And it's, you know, it's different. Uh, now we have uh, the new baby, the little boy, and, and you know, excited, excited about my family. Uh, my wife, too, she's doing a great job with the kids. and. And see, let's see. I want another one, but she said that we gotta wait. I don't want to wait, but let's see what's gonna happen. No, 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 no. But no, no. <laughs> three, three's too many. Three's too many. Three, nah, three I, I, right. I, two. Two is think, perfect. I think. Yeah, two man to man. Three, you gotta go worry about the third one running away. You can't watch all three. So you get two. help. Get help. Oh. Yeah, it's a contract. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> saying. Tell so, them, you can get help. That's that's allowed. There's people that want to help. You got a nanny. There's, there's help. You don't yeah. have kids. You can't talk. <laughs> uh, oh, and I don't have a big ass contract either. That's great point. It is great point. Is. But it's awesome, man. Awesome. I, I'm very grateful about my family. Uh, Marisa is doing a great job. We've been together for ten years, and and it's awesome. So excited, excited for what's coming for me. And hey, Junior, it's a gordo baby. Oh, yeah. Muy gordo. Na nine pounds and nine ounces. That's why he he born like nine pounds and nine ounces and twenty one inches. It's huge. Wow. Did he hey, make those big hands. Big, big hands? Huge hands. Yeah. Probably a big probably a big cabeza too, huh? <laughs> normal. It's normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. Freddie, your your fastball velo's up this year. Your your two your starts this year. What yeah, what, what why? You th you're, just, you're not fastball Freddy anymore. You're full menu Freddy. So, but you're not, your you fastball got, you, is way up. It's, it's you guys' fault, man. You, before, and you're doing spring training, you just talk about it. And, and I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. Your fast, it's it's so, the highest of your career as a starter. It's up to almost 95.4. Yeah. Yeah. Last game, he hit 98 max. Whoa. Yeah, that's the highest yeah, he's ever so, had as a starter. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't expecting that. And I think just about the hard work that we've been putting together, me and, and the, the, you know, the medical staff, trainers and all that. Uh, they've been doing a great job with me always, but now I put a little more emphasis. I have a, like a meeting before with, uh, during the off season about what I want. And I just put more emphasis in my lower body and do less in my upper body. And that way I keep like more flexible and it's working great. Uh, I just got to keep it that way. Uh, stay healthy for me is the number one point, and we're doing a great job. You know, I'm not gonna lie; it's hard to keep uh, doing that routine like every day, but it make me feel great because all the time when I have to throw my bullpen or, or, or when I'm going out there for the game, it's different. I feel different. Uh, whenever I want to throw a fast or a little harder than than what I can, I just I do it without effort. So, and you can see in the video, like you say, so it's, it's been great so far and I'm really excited about it. And hopefully to stay like that until, until we be where we want to be. It's playoff and then we move from there. Freddie, you're getting close to your former teammate, Josh Hader, with your average uh, fastball velocity. You guys might get a chance to take him on in the ninth inning. Do you think that your teammates are going to be a little extra motivated to try and get him to uh, crack in the ninth inning if you guys go up against him? <laughs> <laughs> I, it, man, I think that, I don't know, it's baseball. It's, you know, it's, he's going to be there, like, probably trying at some point, maybe is he going to throw the nine? Maybe. Hopefully not. But, uh, but you know, what I can say about Hader, uh, he's a great guy. Great person, great teammate, and I don't think that there's anybody here that wanna like, like beat him like that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like try to get him like bad because something happens in the past or something like that. Maybe you wanna do it because it's it's your job and you wanna put the team in, in the right position. But uh, he doesn't have like any any bad like bites. Hated. I wish I don't know if you guys know him like in person, but he's probably one of the best teammates that I ever had before. Tu sabe, tu sabe, you say. Yeah, he's, he's awesome, man. He's unbelievable. Yeah, but you want to beat him. You want to beat his ass, don't lie. Yeah, tonight. You want to beat his yeah, ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. got a one-run lead, he comes in. You want 
You want Rowdy you know to go up there and go three run Jimmy Jack and freaking trot around the bases? Yeah, yeah you want that. <laughs> then you go, you go to dinner after. It's okay. It's okay. I know. It's okay. Would you go to dinner after yeah. if that happened? I don't know. I don't know. I may wait until the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Have your breakfast. Just a little. Yeah. Hey, something similar happened to me last year again. Abisai Garcia. So, uh, most of the of the of the year I was, you know, a little uncomfortable with my arm, and and I remember late in the year, like in September, late in September, or probably August already. So they were in Milwaukee, and. I was like in the bullpen for only one inning available. And it's, it's gonna work like my like my bullpen day and that way I'll be ready for pitching on Sunday, last game in Milwaukee. And I was able to do it and and I remember Abi Zahir Garcia hit a homer against me and I was like, My God, Jesus And he was after the game like, Hey my bad bro I <laughs> I I didn't want to do that and I want to have a, a lunch with you tomorrow. And we went together to a friend's house, me, Willie, and him. And we were just talking about it. And I was like, God, you couldn't do like a base or double or something or not home <laughs> with somebody on base. You're better than that. And you just remind me that we hate it. And those moments are, you know, uh, when you have good, good friends in baseball, it's, it's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen here. Comparar comida? Abitalia? Uh, we just cook at home. Oh, great, oh. great food. But did yeah. he buy the groceries? Yeah, did, you buy, uh, did no. you buy the? Did he buy the food? Did he buy lunch? But it was in I, the house. No, yeah, they were, the food were in the house. Because <laughs> we hey, we just had Matthew Boyd on, and he said Aaron Judge bought him dinner, and then the next day he hit two home runs off of him. <laughs> oh so I didn't God, know if, I, if I, that, I didn't know if Garcia would be like, hey man, I took you deep, so now I buy you lunch the next day. Oh my, God. it should be like that. It's, it's yeah, the way right? it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> so it's crazy, man. Oh my God, baseball is crazy, but it's fun. It's gonna happen. You would have to buy everybody because all the people you strike out, you'd be buying everybody dinners. Oh my God. It's, yeah, what about all the base season doubles that I get and all that kind of stuff? Okay, and that's, all that. that's so fair, we that's even, fair. we even. <laughs> quiere, quiere que counsel say at gente para por resto carrera. Do you want to have counsel as your manager for the rest of your career? I, oh, yeah, of course. I was... Uh, Por qué? He's, he's, I don't know. I had, I never had uh, another manager in the, in the big leagues before. But, you know, there's some players that, uh, you know, come back and forth and they always talk about it during spring training anymore, like how it is to be in another team and all that. They don't complain about it, but they see the difference when they come here and see the difference between somebody else in council he's great uh nothing that i can complain about it he's he's the best man and i don't know what's gonna happen next i don't know what he's gonna do but i wish to have him and for my whole career but i also know that he played already he played for a lot of years he's been managing for a lot of years too and probably he's in some point he's gonna go and, and enjoy his family too yeah, and you're still way too damn young. You got you're gonna outlast Craig Council as the manager with you as the player. You got a lot of years left. Hey, I want to ask you yeah. about your uh, your buddy Woodruff. So so he goes on the IL right now, and that's your guy. I mean, remember last time we had you on? You're yeah. like one one game to pitch. Mm, I'm going Woodruff. Yeah. So are you? That's upset? my guy. Man. And he's and, and we've talked about it. one of the nicest dudes in the bigs. He's yeah. buying dinner for random people he sees at restaurants. So you texting him. What do you think about the injury so far? Are you guys worried about it? Uh, you know, when, yeah, we, you know, we're a little worried about it because it's, you don't want to like lose somebody like him. Uh, you know, you want to have him in the rotation for a lot of little things because the, the pitcher that he is, how he's going to contribute to win uh, every night. Uh, and also the impact that he make uh, for us and, for the other players too, but he's gonna be around here. Uh, he's he looks he looks good. He just took that decision because I think that that that's the best for him, and just you know trying to prevent something bigger. And I was talking with him the last two days, uh, and he was you know you know like trying to let everybody know that he's not 
it's not a big deal. It's something that just to prevent we early in the season and and it's something that is just a little inflammation and it's something that is gonna wear it's gonna go away back uh soon, hopefully. Freddie, you guys have the cheese head. Have you seen the cheese head? The thing they put on the yeah. head? Oh yeah. Can you get it as a pitcher or as an only position player? Can you get that? Uh, it's only as a uh, position player. So you got so uh, if you like strike out the side or something, you can't wear the cheese head in the dugout and dance around. They haven't said anything about it, but I I don't think that I if I do something like that, if I, try, I strike out the side, I don't I don't put it on. I don't like when I am playing, man. When I am the moment, I don't want nobody like like close to me. Like Gra- I'm hey, not, grab it, you know, grab that thing I want, after the start. I want to say yeah. after <laughs> oh, the start. After, yes. So, Freddie, like, let's say you go six shutout, seven shutout, whatever, right? And you come out, you're happy. They should, yeah, yeah, yeah. They need to acknowledge you guys. Like, what? Where's your prop? That's a good point, man. If you see something like that in the next, uh, I don't know, if, soon, if you see it, you're gonna, you can, you can say, oh, it was Freddie's idea because I heard it from you guys. So I'm gonna try. It. Like, is Lauer pitching tonight? <laughs> Is it Lauer tonight? Who's pitching tonight? Ah, uh, no, no, we have we have another uh, another pitcher tonight. So I don't okay. know if I'm, if I'm allowed to. But... Oh, oh well, minus. you can say it because I might want to gamble on it. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just I'm jo- I'm just joking. Just Freddie. Freddie. Totally joking. Okay, I have a question. Okay. If if your if your guy, like in the next few days, like let's say Corbin or Lauer go six, seven innings, something like that, and he comes in. Can you can you in the dugout say, guys, you get your fun for just hitting a homer, even if it's a 13 nothing game. You guys are celebrating like gonna, you won the World Series. We get some love. I'm going to get and put it on. I will do Thank it. you. Like Corbin went eight <laughs> shutty the other day with like two hits, right? Three hits? Yeah, he should. Yeah, yeah. He deserved yeah. to have yeah, the cheese should. head on. Awesome job, man. Awesome. Great. Great. Freddy. I thought for one moment that he's going to throw the complete game, but, but it was good enough. Perfect. He wanted it though. We we know he wanted it because he's look, never look, done look, it. They look, always look at pull this. him look after. At, you want to see this? You want to see this? Look at look at this. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh Miley, oh. what's up, guys? <laughs> I, I have a headphone. You want to say no, something? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh no. <laughs> Tell him he's late for breakfast. <laughs> Ask if he's buying uh, the cow he's... today. Oh, is he... okay. the cow. What about the cow? The cow. Vaca, vaca. Eat. Hi. How do you no, say did cow? You cow, cow right? Did he buy a cow? Cow. Oh, if you buy it, a cow. Yeah, I buy him all the time. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him AJ Przinsky ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's the best. He's the best, man. Go ahead, Kratz. You had something? Que, que te hace anojar? What makes you mad? What makes you angry? Because you're always so happy. Tu eres todo tiempo contento. Yeah, but... Uh... Let me see. Uh, you talking about in baseball, like or Either, right. in Let's general? One, El Mundo. Yeah, one on the field, one off the field. Like, what's something in baseball that you're like, ah, we shouldn't do this anymore. I don't like this. Maybe it's a song or a rule, and then something let, off the field too. Let me talk about me. Like something that makes me really bad on the field uh, is about myself. Like, let's say that I have two acts and I walk the next battle or something, or or I have about it in two strikes and I walk him. Oh my God. You don't want to see my face. It's, I, <laughs> I, I, it's, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. Uh, and sometimes I got to remind myself that I see on the game, but make me feel bad. Yeah. And angry too. But like outside of baseball, uh, uh, what can I say? Let's see. When somebody, like, let's say that we have a, dinner or workout during the off season or anything and we set a time like oh i see you uh 11 a.m in this place and you get there like 11 15 or 11 30 that make that crummy it's, it, i get mad because i like so to be like if guy. i say 11 yeah i'm gonna be there at 10 50. you know what i'm no saying tarder. no tarder, no tarder. i don't like I, I hate that yeah i don't like that who, who, who does that in your life? Like, do you have a, a former or current teammate? Like, is Abbas yeah, yeah, show yeah, up yeah. to lunch too late when you I'm, play I'm with him? Late, I'm on the late. I have the perfect guy. Okay, who you well, got? you know, I don't – I get mad, but I don't – then he does something that makes me feel good again. Willie. <laughs> all the time. Willie? Willie, yeah, Adam is all the time. 
Oh, Willie, really? this is because we know each other since we've been, I know him since 2014, I think, 2014 or 15. And we've been playing together. We had some practice together before during the whole season and all that. And, you know, he's like that. So he's, he takes his time. And, oh, I, on my way, on my way, every day in five minutes. No, liar, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Willie time, right? Five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he'll be there in 20. Yeah, in 20, 20, at least. <laughs> I have a oh cousin God. like that. He'll be like, hey, I'm there in five minutes. I'm like, you didn't even leave. I know you didn't no. leave. That means you're about to leave. So it's five yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Willie time. Yeah. I like that. Hey, Freddie, good luck out there. Have fun. Tell Wade, um, enjoy his lunch, and we'll talk to you in a few <laughs> yeah. weeks, sir. No, he, he, went for bre- he went for breakfast to lunch. He, he got the omelet. Now he's going to get yeah, the yeah. sandwich. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got to let him know. I let him know. <laughs> Thanks, Freddie. Thank we'll you, see guys. you soon. Okay, bud? Hey, we tried to get Freddie Peralta to complain or frown or do something, but he's one of the happiest guys in the big leagues. Great laugh. Yes. Great smile. And the best part was he was sitting at breakfast. Or lunch, or brunch, or I don't know what you want to call he, it. He accomplishes both meals. At doing the doing the video with us, there's people walking behind. He brought in Wade Miley, who dealt. Yep. In his last start after coming on, so good job, Freddie. Keep going, and uh, I need to see you with that cheese head on. Yes. Next time you pitch well, grab the cheese head, place it on your head, and also do that for your other fellow pitchers. He said, "Look out! I'm going to be doing that coming soon this week. Maybe he does it for one of his buddies, uh, like a Corbin Burns." or uh, an Eric Lauer. So that's it for Brew Crew Territory this week. You can catch us every single week, wherever you get your podcasts or on the Foul Territory YouTube page. We'll see you next time. Hey, BetMGM is running an MLB Bet $10, get $100 instantly promo when you use the bonus code SPICYMLB. And you can get this offer in four easy steps. Sign up and deposit at least $10 into your newly created account. Download the BetMGM Sportsbook app on iOS or Android. Place a pregame money line wager of at least $10 on any MLB team to win at standard odds price. Then you will receive $100 in bonus bets instantly. If you sign up in Massachusetts or Ohio, you will receive $200 in bonus bets. Just remember to use the bonus code SPICYMLB. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER.